Hello everyone, this is Dr. Bob DeMaria, the drugless doctor with another week in health. And once again, there are so many articles to choose from, but two particular ones caught my attention. This one was from the Wall Street Journal, December the 18th. It said, doctors eye cancer risk in a uterine procedure. The article goes on and talks about a procedure that they um, perform on women called morcellation where they literally grind, can you imagine this, they, really, they literally grind a fibroid tumor inside of the woman's uterus. There are doctors in the New England area that want to put a moratorium on this procedure, but there are other doctors that want to continue to go on. The real challenge is that, that when they grind these cells, it causes cancer to proliferate or grow in women's bodies within three to five years. Half a million uteruses are taken out of women every year. 55,000 of them, they utilize this procedure. As a drugless doctor, my number one goal for you ladies is you don't even want to have a fibroid on your uterus. And what we have found from our experience, you want to minimize the amount of estrogen that is in your body by having really optimal liver function. Make sure you're eating your apples, your beets, and your carrots. Be aware of what type of estrogen you're putting in your body in the form of soy, what kind of water are you drinking. Just be aware of the chemicals that you're putting in and out of your body so you can have the right steps to prevent estrogen accumulation, which is the most common cause for fibroids in a female's uterus. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. There was also a very interesting article this past week in the New York Times. It was talking about ADHD. And I have actually, my whole life, been working on kids with ADHD and adults with ADHD. It has been estimated about 5 million kids have ADHD in America today, and now we're having more adults that have ADHD. The condition is so bad that it went from $2 billion worth of amphetamines, or drugs like Adderall and Ritalin in 2002, and right now it's an eight billion, that's right, an eight billion dollar a year industry. A 60% increase in the utilization of drugs and the diagnosis of ADHD. They're really going after the adult market. Drugs like Ritalin and Adderall are amphetamines. They can become addictive. They're like one step away from being cocaine. What we want to do is how do we prevent ADHD? Well, as the author of Dr. Bob's Guide to Stop ADHD in 18 Days, and we did a pilot program in the early 2000s, it comes down to diet. Be aware what you're putting in your bodies, ladies and gentlemen. And what I have found from my experience, trans fat, partially hydrogenated oils, is one of the reasons that so many people have ADHD, because it interferes with a fat in your brain called DHA. So our goal as a drugless team is to help improve brain function. Of course, there could be other factors that might be a part of your ADHD issue, including some psychological or personal stress and home environment. So you want to have yourself assess before you start taking medications, why don't you try some dietary changes? Minimize sugar, add more minerals, take oil, preferably flax oil, one tablespoon per 100 pounds. That'll help your body a lot to prevent ADHD so you don't become dependent on these amphetamine-type medications. My name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.